hashtag video I didn't want to make. Hey guys, Christy here, uh, commuting home, as you can see. Eh, exciting. I am making a very quick video again, um, in reaction again to events, so this is unscripted. The thing that I want to talk to you about today, and I'm just going to get right to it rather than giving you a lot of the backstory, is that I suspect Dick Coughlin is telling falsehoods or spreading falsehoods about this XXX account that he had. So Dick um, brought up this account to inoculate himself against things that came out in Blissful Melancholy's video, which I've mirrored here on this channel because I stand with Bliss. And um, in that account, he claims that he set up this XXX account for two reasons, apparently. One is... And after a coughing fit that made my eyes water, the first thing he claimed was that the account was about body positivity, apparently. Um, and then he sort of hints at this idea that he wanted to see if people would react to pictures of people's bodies in similar ways because he's a man compared with a woman. It all sounded like bullshit because here's my experience with Dick Coughlin's XXX account. I was invited to join uh, with no context, certainly no discussion about body positivity, certainly no discussion that um, this was going to be used as an evaluation for how women are supposed to react to um, people putting up images of their body. Uh, I didn't know what it was. I thought the XXX, to be honest, was the he had been having problems at the time with his YouTube channel, with getting flagged and you know, as he normally does. And so I thought the XXX referred to um, things that were too hot for YouTube, takes that might otherwise get him in trouble on YouTube. And I don't actually remember the process of like how I got into the account because I wasn't really that into it. I wasn't paying that much attention to it. And I finally figured out what the account was really about when I was going through my timeline and I saw this mostly naked picture of Dick and his tidy whities Now, to be honest, I see lots of pictures of women on Twitter who are taking pictures of themselves and putting them up like, oh, do I look so pretty? So it didn't, it was, you know, it didn't bother me. Um, I wasn't offended. It was just, if anything, I found it sort of funny. Um, but I didn't say anything, I didn't react to it, um, I didn't drop out because it wasn't offensive at the time. Uh, I just kind of like thought, well, okay, that's just, you know, him doing his thing, uh, whatever, scroll on. Um, but then there was one day when I opened up my Twitter feed and there was a very close-up recording of an act of self-gratification I was not prepared to see in my timeline. Um, and yeah, that one really did shock me. Now, I haven't said anything about this until now. I haven't said anything about this until now because it was a private account and because it didn't, you know, I mean, I found that one particular image shocking, but other than that, I didn't see that it was relevant to the conversation until Dick lied about it and lied about how he produced, how he sort of presented it to people and lied, in my opinion, about um, what the aims of it were. What it really came across to, for me, was a guy who was desperate for validation. That's what I saw. It wasn't a body positivity experiment. It was someone who feels the need to, wants to show himself off and get attention for it. And so like I said, I'm not going to judge people who want to do that, but it should all be consensual. So I just felt I needed to go on the record to say whatever Dick is saying about his intentions and the way that he treated the, that thing, um, that's not exactly what happened. I'm going to pause now because this sounds a bit loud. So I popped in here to get out of the wind. You can see it blowing behind me. Uh, but the other thing that I wanted to say that really um, made me angry is that when I woke up this morning and I was going through my feed, I noticed that Dick Coughlin had posted screenshots allegedly of Captain and Andy offering someone an unsolicited dick pic. The problem with it is that it's a sort of one-off screenshot that uses spelling and grammar that I've never seen Captain Andy use in either his DMs to me or on Twitter or on Facebook. So it seemed very suspicious. And other people, to be honest, have pointed out that it doesn't look anything like the way that he writes. Dick eventually took that image down, but the fact that he would try to use Me Too as a way to get back at critics who are pointing out that he makes women feel uncomfortable 
really, to me, is more of an exposure of truth as to who Dick really is and what Dick will, is will, willing and capable of doing. Um, this has been eye-opening for me, too. I was very much on the side of uh, sympathetic with people who were saying, look, if he corrects his behavior and stops making people feel uncomfortable, acknowledges that he pushed boundaries, and he crossed boundaries, he went too far, you know, nobody's saying stop his patron, no one's saying don't watch his videos, but, you know, you should know this about him, and we should try as a community to get him to stop making women and non-binary people who present femme uncomfortable. It's not that hard, right? To not be an asshole? But instead, Dick Coughlin has been doubling down and attacking everybody and playing the victim. And I've learned so much more about him through this process than watching most of his videos. Um, so I wanted to go on record about that bullshit and also his bullshit story about his XXX account. Uh, I wanted to be on the record because uh, Bliss is right and, and again, I'm standing with Bliss. And anyone else who has been creeped out, felt violated or hurt by Dick Coughlin. Not me, but I stand with those who do, or have. All that's left to be said then is that I've been Christy, you've been awesome. I'm gonna get out of these people's doorway before they open the door. It's actually an apartment building, so that's fine. But anyway, I gotta go. So, see you later. Bye.